to the Kirsty Meekin show. <laughs> Today we are going to be doing a comparison between gel polish, gel paint. Which one is better to create your artwork with? Now I get this question all the time, like way too often to be honest. So I'm going to answer it in this video and if anybody else asks me, I'm just going to send you the video. <laughs> so here's what I think is best between the two. Let's go. So Andrea's got just a plain set of nails on, yeah? They're just one colour. They're the perfect nail to do this little demo on, to be honest. I'm going to wipe over them with the Kirsty Meekin Clean Up Solution, which is going to clean them and it's going to dehydrate them as well. Right, here we go. So I'm going to put a base coat on. Um, I want to work on a shiny surface and a matte surface. We're going to show you the difference between the two. It's going to be like an experimental. Yeah. Pop me that man. Right, so we're going to put our background colour as Beige Dave. <laughs> we like a bit of Beige Dave. Beige Dave. I love this colour actually. It looks so nice against the skin. And it's a, it's like, it's an alternative to a nude because it's more creamy. It's a bit like creme brulee. It's that creamy. It makes me want to eat it. And I do like gel polish that much that sometimes I do want to eat it and I really shouldn't. Oh my God, it looks like Bailey's. Oh my God, it looks like Bailey's. And oh, I've got a fluff. Get rid of the fluff. It does look like Bailey's. Oh my God. Do you know what? It's the perfect colour to do a frothy coffee nail. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Or a Bailey's nail. Yeah. Christmas is coming. <laughs> Five million um, different flavours of Bailey's that will be. Yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah, like the flavours. They every year, don't they? I don't like the flavours. I just like Bailey's. Yeah. You know, just as it is. With some ice, it's all it needs. Yeah. Pop it in. Yeah. So we're on a second coat of colour. Hey, I want a Bailey's now. <laughs> Any excuse? I actually had the Jamaican equivalent round the pool. Like just punch with ice. Rum. So did you have not put punch, punch, punch rum? You had, um, oh, bloody hell, what's it called? <gasps> Guinness punch. Do you have Guinness punch? No. Guinness punch is, oh my God, it's so nice. Is it? So, so nice. It was like, what was it called? Well, it was like, it was like Bailey's really. Are you sure it wasn't Guinness punch? Might have been, I don't know. It looks very much like this colour. Does it? Yeah. Right, so we're going to do one with matte top coat, one with gloss top coat. And when you're doing matte top coat, take off the sticky layer of your colour. It works far better. The matte top coat is super light sensitive. It will even react to false light, if that makes sense. And then we're going to do a normal top coat on this, which is our shiny tack free top coat, because who wants a tacky top coat? Not me! Super shiny. Pop me them in the lamp. So the gel paint that I'm going to use today is the Nelkami Tack Free Gel Paint. It's also used for stamping as well and it's the Artisan. We're going to use black and white just to give you a good comparison of coverage. And then we're going to use Kirsten Meekin, obviously my range of gel polishes in black and white. So this is Void and this is Wipeout. Wipeout? <laughs> white out. <laughs> All the words that just get jumbled in my brain and go bleh. So I'm going to put my colours in here. This is the Nailcomy little palette. You can use foil, you can use um, backing paper from sculpting form. It doesn't have to be a fancy palette, don't worry about that. I'm going to pump a little bit of white out there and a little bit of black. And then I'm going to get my colours. I'm going to keep them separate. And I'm going to use backing paper from my uh, sculpting form. So we'll have void. 
and white out. Right, so we're going to use the paint first. So you'll notice that the paint is a lot thicker. So you'll notice that it has a thicker viscosity. Yeah, so it's like kind of sticky. So although it may appear like it's gel polish, it is a lot thicker. So a lot more transfers onto the brush and I find that sometimes it does pull back. So I just want to take some excess off like that. And I'm gonna do some swirls to start with. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of pressure and then I'm gonna come down a little pressure and come off. Okay, so we get a little swirly. And then again, I'm going to reload and I'm going to come around and down like that. So this is what can happen with gel paint. So if you can see that, that pull mark where the brush is pu pulled through it, yeah? So it do, it's not as clean because it doesn't self-level as much as gel paint. Yeah, so we can just, we can alter that. It's very pigmented though, and very crisp, isn't it? Do another one. Now, if we do like quite a big one now, and I've got, you know, at least two thirds of the brush, loaded with product. I'm going to come here and I'm going to come all the way around like this. You'll see where the product runs out and I have a little bit of a, can you see that tiny little bit that's a little bit thicker? So what I would have to do then is, can I realistically go over that again and rectify that? No, not a prayer mate. So what I would then do is add a little swirl into that to hide it. Okay, so we're very pigmented, yeah? And we're staying still, it's not slipping and sliding anywhere. Let's do this exactly the same on the matte surface. So we're gonna start with that first one. We pull round like this and it will want to grab onto the surface, you see? And you can see we have a little bit of a pull mark here from the bristles of the brush. And that won't move, that, that, that little line won't move. Let's do another one here, round and down, a little one. So you need very little product. Let's do this long one now. Okay, we've got enough product on the brush. We're gonna come around. And you see what happens? It grabs that much that sometimes it will splay your brush. Can you see how it's not as smooth as that? So because it's matte, it kind of grabs and it's like, um, it kind of, I feel like it goes, that makes sense rather yeah. than pulls rather than strikes it drags that's the word it drags a bit but sometimes you may you might even want it to do that so i would then rectify that with a little bit of that so i've got the miko gel brush which is a super tiny brush that is perfect for painting with to get the full product on so if you want to apply a bit more product it's wider yeah so what this is good for and you can use the mat to your advantage now so if you want to do something that sweeps away and gives you those little fine lines can you see how it goes that is the magic word so we can come here Go. Like that. It's beautiful because we can do like little flowers and things like that with this. And you can see those tiny little hairline little marks that you get. I 
I love this brush for doing stuff like that. So that's on the matte surface here. Yeah? We've not cured any of this yet at all. And let's see what happens with this on a shiny surface. So let's do our initial one. So it does it a bit, but maybe not quite as good. I'm seeing the lines a little bit more, but not this. Do you think this feather bit doesn't look quite as nice? It moves quicker. So when you place it down, it kind of wants to slide. So getting these kind of brush strokes on a matte surface is much more controlled. Can you see the difference between the two? So this looks more ad elegant and you can, it looks more pigmented here. And then as you brush off, you get those tiny, 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 tiny little marks. We got sent some limp free pads that I've been asking for for ages, <laughs> which are from um, Navy. So these are like the, they rem, don't they remind me of um, wax strips? Yeah. They do remind me of wax strips. So they don't fall apart, which is quite good. I can clean my brush with it like that. So I've just got a little bit of the cleanup solution on my pad to just clean that up a bit. So I'm pushing the paint through the bristles. This is the gel paint. So your brush should look something like that. Then we're going to do these little sweeping strokes. You see how it slides and it almost doesn't want to come off the brush as much because it's so shiny. Does that make sense? When you're using a wider brush like this. And those little feathery bits, yes, they're nice, but they're not quite as nice as they are on a matte surface. Yeah, I do prefer how it behaves. Using this brush to create these kind of shapes, I prefer how it behaves on the mat. But to do the swirly bits, I prefer how it behaves on the shiny surface. Does that make sense? Right, so what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna buff that off, and then I'm gonna show you what, how the gel polish behaves. Is it going to be a naughty boy? So I'm going to do the same with this. I'm going to matte top coat one and we're going to shiny top coat the other. Can we just appreciate how gorgeous Beige Dave is and how gorgeous he is with a matte top coat? I'm a fan. I am a fan. Right, so let's do similar brush strokes on these using gel paint. So this is obviously our brand of gel paint. You can have a go with this and play about with other brands if you want to as well. And this is when you'll know if you've got a really pigmented gel paint or not. So I've gone gel with the polish. black. Yeah, sorry, gel polish. God, I'm confusing myself. Mm. Right, so pull through colour. And I'm going to do some swirls. Ooh, very neat. Very, very neat. Let's do a big long one. Not so easy, because it wants to slide even more. So because the gel polish is thinner in viscosity, it wants to move more. Let's do it on the mat. It particularly grabs on the mat. But I do like how fine it goes, and there's no, there's none of those brush lines. It's a very smooth surface. Your artwork will always be very, 
sort of smooth. They won't have any ridges in or anything like that. But if you want that kind of effect so it is textured, then use the jar paint. Let's do a long one. That was easier to do on the mat. Definitely. So doing the shorter ones is easier on short curlies. The short and curlies was easier on the shiny. <laughs> Longer ones is definitely easier on the mat, but I actually like the, I like how they came out on the mat ones, to be honest, which I do like to paint on top of mat. Just cure me those before we do the other brush. So we've got the wider brush, still quite small, but it's obviously wider than the Cassidy Detailer. So this is the Miko gel. I'm gonna go into the black. So well, let's start on the shiny again. Now you don't get those sweeping little, tiny little marks. There is some, but it's not as wispy. See these little lines are nowhere near as wispy because this is a gel. Polish. Okay, let's do it on the on the mat. Definitely grabs more and it is more wispy at the end or more feather-like at the end. So it performs better, I think, on the mat than it does the shiny. Just give those a cure and we'll, we'll do the white. Right, let's go into the white now. So this is white out on a shiny surface. It does look nice. It is very, very, very crisp. I do like it. And let's just do it on the mat. grab like crazy on the mat which you can use to your advantage let's use the white with the Miko gel brush it's not too bad but what you don't get is much detail let's do it on the mat the mat does hold a little bit more detail Just cure me them. So can you see the difference between the gel paint and the gel polish? I actually really love, for these swirls, I prefer the gel polish. I much prefer it. It's cleaner, it's more crisp, it's really pigmented. But to do these sweeping little strokes to create flowers, then the gel paint is definitely better because it holds that detail. Whereas these look more like little splodges and that's not what you want. You want that little feather coming off the end. Don't forget the... You know what I mean though, don't you? I know what you mean, yeah, yeah, you but I don't know if anyone else will. Well, <laughs> English people will. Ah. Uh, but could you mind if you're watching it with subtitles? And the... <laughs> Feather-like little... <laughs> things. So the other thing is the gel polish will sit a little bit higher so it will be slightly raised. Not so much with these strokes but with your little swirly bits they will be a little bit more raised. Now that actually looks really nice if you want that. So I like how you, it's kind of like it's embossed, mm. yeah? You can get that embossed effect very easily with gel paint because it just, it domes, it kind of, each each one of these little swirls has like a bit of a dome into it. So it, it gives like, like a really beautiful effect. Whereas if you do it with gel paint, you don't have as much doming because it's thinner and flatter, yeah? 
So you'll notice before when we've done designs, especially in gel polish, we will have to put two top coats on. We'll put one top coat on, we'll buff it, and then we'll do another top coat so you get that clean, streamlined top coat. Now when you're using a gel paint, you might not have to do that. You might just do the one coat and you're done because it's thinner and finer. However, this is a problem I run into with gel paint. There are nowhere near as many colors of gel paint than there are gel polish. So because we have a lot, most of us, you know, especially if you're working in a salon, have an abundance of colors of gel polish, and because you've worked with them, you kind of know what's pigmented and what isn't pigmented, you can use that as your art material, which I do a lot because it's it's they're there in many, many colors. So with the gel paint, what you would have to do is you would have to mix your individual colors. So that takes more time. So each of these products comes with their advantages and their disadvantages. If you were doing a portrait, for instance, in gel paint, it would lie a lot flatter and hold more detail. But if you're doing it in gel polish, it would have a softer finish. So it'd be more like a soft focus finish on it because you'll never get the detail. But now here's the top tip. Use them together. Lay down your colors in your background colors or say you're doing a character art. Lay down the color of your characters, the main colors in gel polish and do your detail in gel paint. And it will look friggin' amazing. That makes sense. Mm, it does make sense, yeah. So I believe there is no win here. They are both as good as each other because they are both good for different things. I think we're going to have to get you an Afro, Bob Ross. I forgot to have a Bob Ross <laughs> Afro. Keenan went to uh, the Halloween parties, Bob Ross. Did oh, you? Yeah. <laughs> and Amy went as the little tree. <laughs> <laughs> the happy little accident. <clears throat> The one, I don't know, I don't, does he paint a little tree at the end of everything or something? Yeah, so we, I don't know, I don't know. He paints a lot of trees. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of trees. Yeah, so, so that's she probably went it's to from a the... meme. Yeah, yeah it's definitely so, from a meme. There you are, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget, check us out Facebook, Instagram, all that shebang. Like, share, subscribe, and everything. Products of use to Products of use today will be listed below as always and yeah i hope you found this video helpful and you can make good choices when you pick your products see you later Ta -da -da. It does seem shame. I've got my hand with me like that, but you know. I cut straight off. I can't stand natural nails. Because <laughs> I just don't like them. No, I'm just so natural. I love doing natural nails. I love doing them. And I can appreciate them and I love them, but if it was me, I'm straight off. I did try. I tried to do the natural thing. No, I didn't. Like I said, that long time. Mind you, it's not very long time. Ma, a bit shorter than that. Anyway, there's my thanks for you. So I have thanks for you, Jay. And I'm it. Welcome. Oh, no, that's a bit um, Halloween. I don't know what Halloween is. That's what we need, my son. I sounded like I was from London.